Ari, right, thanks for joining me. Today we are talking about a uh, new device that Bosch has released that takes care of some legacy problems that are going to be coming up and um, improves their uh, quality of alarm panel connectivity. What do you have for us? That's right, Matt. The Bosch B440 uh, communication module, which runs on the 3G network, uh, there's a lot of them out there in the field. They work great, but Verizon has made the decision to no longer support 3G communication protocol. So Bosch is updating it. We now have a B444. It runs on LTE and it works just great in all your existing panels. So anybody has a new G series panel, anybody that has a B series panel, anybody that has a B450 uh, communication uh, add-on module, anybody who has a B465 dual pack universal communicator, uh, you can just remove your B440s and plug in your B444s and you're going to be good to go. Okay, so let's back up a second. For all the end users out there who don't know all these uh, acronyms and part numbers that you're talking about, explain that in uh, end user speak for me. What is uh, B series, G series, B4044? Give me that information in uh, easy to, to digest okay. uh, lingo, <laughs> lack of lingo. So your alarm panel is good at making a loud noise if anybody tries to uh, enter your perimeter or your premises uh, without authorization. But all it can do is make a loud noise. If you want to call for help, you have to give it some way of doing that. So okay. um, you can connect it to your telephone line, you can connect it to the internet, or you can give it a cell phone. Um, right now, all the alarm panels uh, use an old style 3G cell phone to communicate with the police or with your central station or with your monitoring center. Since if, they're, if they've elected to use a cell connection option. Right? That's right. Okay. That's because, right. Because that's obviously not the only option. You can have multiple paths. You can have dial up, which we have a whole discussion about with um, the end of POTS line. So go ahead. Go ahead. I remember that. <laughs> so a lot of, a lot of our end users need the redundancy of having more than one communications path. Uh, some cases, like for fire, for example, that's actually mandated that you have to have two paths of communication. Some of our users need two paths of communication for intrusion as well. Plus, the great option if you don't have dial-up or Ethernet at your site. If you're at a remote site, if you're at an unmanned site, or if you're just at a site that doesn't support that infrastructure. Okay. So we have the ability to give every uh, alarm panel out there a way to communicate to central station or to your monitoring center uh, wirelessly using a 3G cellular communicator. Okay. And unfortunately, Verizon is going to discontinue uh, the use of 3G sooner or later. They say it's going to be December 31st, 2022. That's the date that we have right now. Okay. So that gives. So, so we're, we're giving some folks. We're giving some folks some opportunity here to um, plan ahead, um, add this into their their budget and their action plan for replacement. And I guess for if they're placing new orders, they don't want to keep ordering the same old part numbers. And I guess in this case, we're mostly talking to the installation companies that are that are working on behalf of the end user. Exactly. So we've got close to three and a half years now to plan an orderly transition. So if you've got hundreds of panels out in the field, you don't have to go out there, dig into your budget today and upgrade everything today. You've got plenty of time to plan an orderly transition. You can uh, upgrade a few panels at a time to make sure you don't have any problems. And if you do have any problems, you have plenty of time to work around them to solve them. You don't have to use 20, uh, 2018's budget money. You can use 2019 and 2020's budget money. Uh, you don't have to get a technician out tomorrow. You've got plenty of time to think about it, but now is the time to think about it. Do not call us in November 2022 and ask for the upgrade because, well, then we might have some trouble getting those communication modules to you in a timely manner. Okay, so we have a, a timeline that work, should work for just about everybody. Uh, installers are hereby notified to... Uh, change the part numbers that they're starting to put out um, to their contract customers or new clients that they're working with. Um, this communicator, does it work with old Bosch alarm panels or just new Bosch alarm panels? How, 
where does that uh, communicator device kind of draw the line with old devices? Any uh, Bosch alarm panel that now has a cellular communication module will work just fine with this new uh, communication module. The beautiful thing about um, Bosch communication modules is that they're easily swappable. In the past, um, some manufacturers put out uh, hard soldered communication modules requiring lots of equipment to be swapped out. When uh, we went from 2G to 3G, for example, nowadays it's just a quick release. You press one button, you pull it out, you put a new, uh, new module in, you're good to go. Now, it does require a truck roll, and it does require a trained technician, but it's just a few minutes of work uh, plus the programming. Um, so any of the new panels, the new B-series, the new G-series, those panels have a comm slot on board. Uh, the older panels, a lot of the older panels had uh, the Bosch B450 module. It allows you to add on a cellular communicator that add, uh, allows you to add on uh, Ethernet. So if you're using the old um, communication modules, the B440, the B441, the new B40, uh, B444 will just slot into the same uh, communication slots. Um, if you're using the B465 universal dual path communicator, same deal. It's got the universal slot, so you just pull out the old module, put the new module in, you're good to go. Um, we are going to be changing all of our kits. So all of the kits that included the B440 will now include a B44 444 going forward. Okay. So um, that, that's a, a great explanation, and the link in this uh uh, Facebook post here has um, some detailed information for, you know, the technical side of things. Um, but if somebody needs a hand um, on the sales and design side of this, um, you and Sean and the rest of our team are here to help, correct? That's what we're here for. Call Sean, call me. Uh, we're available to walk you through this upgrade. We're available to explain exactly what's going on, where you can use this thing. And uh, we are here to help. Okay. And of course, on the technical level, when you have an installer at the site, a technician, um, Bosch technical support is available. Um, email, chat, uh, phone number, all that kind of stuff. No problem, right? Absolutely. Click on the link below and they'll take you right to all the information you're going to need. Okay. Ari, thanks for the explanation. I appreciate it. And um, like he said, if, uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, you can uh, contact us in the link below or uh, you can always reach us at support at midchess.com. Thanks, Ari. Thanks, Matt. All right. Talk to you later.